um i'm back i know after like eight days but if you know ugh, as you can see i'm still a little bruised up i did have surgery that's why you see this equipment in the back of my freaking ooh, in the back of my view I did have the surgery on my shoulder today is the first day that I went back to physical therapy and I'm slowly regaining my life back not only did I have surgery on the 13th for my left shoulder for those who did not know I also was in the hospital this morning at like 3 a.m. to like 6 a.m. It's not funny, but it's funny because it's like I didn't want to go because I knew I'd be sitting in there all morning. But it's like, you know how black people get when something's wrong. We wait till we can't breathe or we wait till we feel like we about to die to go. So I've been having like heart palpitation and stuff like that. Um, I don't want to say that it's due to my anxiety because I haven't really been feeling anxious. I've really just been chilling, minding my business and things of that nature. So... I don't even want to say that it's my anxiety that caused it. It could just be because I'm usually active and I've just been in the house lately. Sitting down. Ooh. Let me put this right here. I've been in the house lately sitting down and I'm usually, you know, more active and moving around. And like, even if it's just at work on my shift, I'm at least up moving around, walking around. Like, I'm always doing something. My heart's usually pumping, like, you know? So. I guess because of the fact that I've been out of work since like maybe like four or five months now I'm also gaining weight like because I've been trying to so it's not like that's really a bad thing but I guess it's playing like and affecting what's going on so I'm gaining weight I'm in the house majority of the time because I'm only going to physical therapy and then I'm coming back home because of the car accident so it's just like It's just like, I don't know. I've been real still. I haven't been doing any moving around. And then when I am walking, I'm walking to my car and then down to wherever. Like, I'm not just taking walks like how I used to when I would just decide to walk to the store instead of just driving my car because it's right there. Like, you know, but I got to get back into that. So, yeah, your girl is okay. But I just wanted to make sure that I got everything checked out because... When it comes to your heart, lungs, brain, any, I don't play like, play like that. And once I felt them flutters in my chest, I said it's best to just get it checked out than to be laying around and I freak around, fuck around, pass out. Nobody even knows what's wrong with me. So, yeah, it's best that I just go get it checked out. And I got an appointment tomorrow with my cardiologist at 7 a.m. So, I'll be able to go and find out for sure. Like, why my heart has been skipping beats. And you could tell I've been stressed because, like, look at my face. I never break out. And my skin is going through it right now because I've been breaking out so much more often. Like, it's not even just the fact that, oh, my period's coming and now I'm breaking out. Like, I just got off my period and I got a pimple. So, it's just like, I don't know. I want to go get a facial. I want to try a new skin routine. Like, I need something that's just going to work. Especially for when I'm, like, stressed out because... You can tell when I'm stressed because you can see it all over my face. But I'm not even mad. I'm not about to just stress it more to make it worse. It is what it is. I'm going through a couple things right now. But I'm forever grateful. And we're going to get past it. Especially because my birthday is coming. So I'm not even about to stress myself out and get anything else more on my face. I'm about to just keep drinking my water, minding my business, and stuff like that. But yeah, I had to come update you guys really, really fast. Because I'm just like, I've been gone for a while. But I've definitely been going through a lot. Like, I had a whole surgery. Bitch was in the hospital this morning. Like, it's just like... I've, I've had a crazy ass week and then on top of that right when I went into surgery I still was having cramps and stuff like that so it's just like I had a long week if you ask me and now I got this big old freaking thing and another machine over there in my house so I could start moving my shoulder around because it's about that time to start mm. and it's just a lot but I just had to give you guys a quick rundown on where I've been because I'm just like eight days is crazy because I just told myself we back on this like you know the consistency streak and stuff like that but yeah happy 420 I should be getting my hair done tomorrow so there'll be a hair video 
because I really just need to get my head. I'm tired of looking at myself like this. And that's another reason why I didn't want to make a video because I had took the frontal out and I did not want to put on another wig. I want to get my hair done, but my sister had to do something today. She couldn't do my hair, so hopefully I can get my shit done tomorrow so I can stop looking like this and I can just start to feel a little bit, you know, better about myself because who doesn't feel better about this when they get their hair done? I'm taking somebody's nigga tonight. <laughs> somebody's nigga's gonna be God tonight. <laughs> but yeah. Outside of that, I'm alive, I'm breathing, I'm well, I'm grateful. It's 420. I'm about to just smoke this blunt and go take a walk so I could keep my, you know, my cardio going good. I'm gonna do two walks a day. Two, three walks a day. Just make sure that I get fresh air, make sure that I'm walking and keep my heart rate going and my heart pumping and stuff like that. Because them heart palpitations and them skipping beats and the fluttering and it's feel like your heart beating out of your chest like that's really not a good feeling and i'm so glad i'm going to a cardiologist tomorrow morning just to figure out everything that's going on because it's just like girl shit been stressing me out low-key because it's like i've been having heart palpitations for the last four freaking days like and then the fact that i had surgery i can't wear anything like over my arm so i've been just wearing black tank tops for the whole damn week like i barely even been going outside i live by myself and when i first got out of surgery my damn arm was in a sling and my hand was swollen and fat and numb and i live by myself i'll say that again i couldn't do anything but yeah this right here gotta go I'm putting toothpaste on that tonight. What what I what's getting me mad is the dark spots from where I did have pimples. Like I never had that issue before. Like the acne marks, I guess. Like I need something to lighten the spots on my face because I'm not going for it. But yeah. So if you guys are familiar with any products that are good for like lightening spots and stuff like that, let me know down below because a bitch is about to try it. I'm willing to try anything at this point because I don't do the whole like I don't play with my face, yeah, I know that, but yeah. So this is just about to be a quick where I've been video. Random update video. No real um nothing behind it i gotta get in the shower i just got out the hospital like how many hours ago then i had to go for straight to physical therapy get my stitches removed like it's a lot so i will be taking the shower and laying my black behind down because i'm so tired because there's no way i was in the hospital all morning like and mind you that's the fastest that's the fastest i ever been in and out of the hospital so the fact that I was still there a minute, like I can't really complain because, you know, it was a little bit faster than normal. But dang, I was still in there for a minute for it to be empty. So it was just like, what are y'all really doing in here? But yeah, I'm just blessed. I'm feeling better. So if you was wondering where I've been, that's exactly where I've been. Surgery, hospital, back home, physical therapy, like... I had a crazy ass week, but it's really an eye opener health wise. Like, because like little stuff that you do contribute to your health and you don't even know. Like, just me going from having an active life to just be sitting in the house. Like, I didn't even, like, before I even went to the hospital, I figured maybe my heart was reacting like that because I was living such a, you know, a sit down type of lifestyle now. Like, I'm usually up, moving around, ripping and running, like, you know, doing a whole bunch of different things. So now that I'm just sitting in one spot majority of the day, like, you know, going back from my couch to my bed because of my back pain and stuff like that, it's just like, girl, I got to get up. <laughs> like, my body is like, no, you got to do something, bitch, because you're not 50 yet. So, mm. but like I said, I'm good. So I cannot complain. That's why I'm like, the pimples on my face, all this other shit is the least of my worries. I'm here, I'm blessed, I'm breathing. And yeah, because I was in that hospital, like, scared of shit. I'm not going to lie. Because what? When they said that they found something on, um, because they had put a heart monitor on me while I was there. And they wanted to, like, just keep me for a couple hours so that they could see, like, do a long EKG and see what they, um, saw on it. 
And when they saw something, my heart dropped. Because, you know, when the doctor come in, you just, you know, you expect them to say, like, your blood works fine, everything's fine, whatever. Like, you know, it could just be anxiety or whatever the case may be. So when they said that they actually saw something this time, I kind of knew it because I felt like my heart doing the funny shit while they, were, they had me on the machine. But it's just like... Damn, but I'm glad they was able to catch something so that when I go to the doctor tomorrow, everything could just be handled because they got me in for an emergency appointment. So I'm gonna just do what I gotta do, stay on top of everything because my health comes first. And yeah, outside of that, we on the count. It's officially tourist season. Happy four motherfucking 20 to all my potheads out there. And yeah, if I do decide to take a walk today, Maybe I'll take y'all with me because the sun is out. But it's already, like, what time? Because my day is behind. Like, my day is mad behind. I like to wake up, eat my breakfast, drink my tea, you know. And then go about my business or whatever the case may be. But my routine right now is not in order. Because I was in the hospital this morning. But I just got up and I just said, let me just go. I need to go now. I can't wait. I would be sitting in my normal spot and recording, but... Because I got this big old machine in my freaking living room. I can't even do that. Because I got this big old machine in my living room. I can't even do that. So I said, let me just hold the camera. Do a quick little update video. And yeah. So make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you guys look out for my hair video. And my sister does my hair. Because I'm ready to take this wig off. Yeah, y'all know I love red. But I'd rather do red with a new hair, new wig. Like, I'm tired of putting this thing on my head, but... I had to wait for my sister, so I had to do something for today. So, yeah. I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure you guys stay healthy. Put yourself first. I love on you. And, yeah. Because life is short, and you never know what can happen. So, I will see you guys in my next video